Hi Jennifer, thanks for sending your question. Um, for the future, I am going to answer this particular question for you, but because statistics classes actually vary so widely from school to school, um, SnapMath does not do statistics. So let's take a look at the question that you sent in. We're asked to estimate the percentage of girls born using the XSORT method. Um, I happen to be familiar with this particular text that you're working with, and I know that for this question, they want you to use the one proportion Z interval test. So you're going to be using either your TI-83 or your TI-84 um, to answer this question. So what we're going to do is pull out your calculator. We're going to go find the STAT button. You should be familiar with where the STAT button is by now. If you can't find it, it's right by the purple arrows. It's kind of to the, the left and down. Once you press the STAT button, that'll lead you into a submenu. You're going to scroll all the way over to tests. Once you're in tests, you're going to go ahead and scroll down all the way until you get to one proportion Z interval. If you can't find it, it's actually letter A in the menu. So go ahead and press enter once you find that. And it's going to ask you to enter a couple values. It wants you to enter an X and it wants you to enter an N and then it wants you to enter in your confidence interval. I think it says it as C level. I'm sorry, that should be confidence level there. My apologies. So your calculator should refer to this as C level. Once we enter in these values, we can calculate our confidence interval. X is the statistic of interest, meaning if they're asking us to estimate the percentage of girls born using X sort, X is going to be the number of girls born. So let's go ahead and take a look. It looks like when they were using X sort out of 325 babies, 295 of them for girls. So that is our statistic of interest, the amount of girls born using the X set X sort method for this particular experiment. So 295. N is just the number of children in the sample. Girls and boys. So for this particular experiment, there were 325 total babies born. So 325 is going to be our value for N. And your confidence level should just be given to you in the problem. It looks like in this case, they would like us to construct a 99% confidence interval. So our confidence level has to be entered in, in decimal form. It will be 0.99. Once you enter those values in, you can go ahead and scroll down and press calculate, enter. Wow, that does not say calculate. Calculate, thank you for putting up with my bad spelling. And it will give you a confidence interval. That's gonna be the values it gives you in the parentheses on the next menu. I got that the confidence interval will range from 0 0.86633 to 0.94905. What does this mean? Well, it means that when the technicians use the X sort method to increase the likelihood of a baby girl born, um, the amount or the percentage of girls born will range from about 87% to about 95%, so significantly greater than what it would be otherwise. Thanks again for your question, Jennifer, and if you do have other questions that are not statistics questions, I look forward to answering those in the future.